appear in my mouth. Tasty bananas in my mouth. I need banana in my mouth. Tasty banana, it comes in denim. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. In my mouth. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. Put banana in my in my Yum yum. Tastes like calm. Robust, shove it in my butt. Tangy zip, safe to swallow. Tip. Yummy. Thanks for the money, gummies. It looks so funny. Please the peer. Why are you guys talking about tasty banana song? Please the banana. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. Tasty banana. I would sing the banana song right now, but I don't know the banana song. I legit don't know it. What is the banana song? I don't know how it goes. I would yeah. totally sing it right now because it's actually pertinent, but I don't know how it goes. Meerkat Mo. Who? 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 Oh, brother, straw. Brother, 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 brother. I'm fine. But I'm telling you, I did spend money on mobile games in the past. I admit it. That's how I know how addictive they can be. That's how I know how bad they are for people to get caught in that kind of addictive nature. I remember playing, and it was an event. The Hulk Hogan card was in it, right? It was a legendary old school back in the day, 1980s Hulk Hogan card. We've been hanging and banging, brother. Spending all my money on this Hulk game. Keep spending. If they ain't six stars, I don't wanna buy more. Spending all my money on this whole game. Oh, play for two more hours, you ran out. Buy more. If it ain't six stars, keep spending. If it ain't six stars, I don't want it. All these pools, yeah, I'm about to bust. Spending all my money on these Hogan's like I'm Elon Musk. Ridiculous. Ridiculous amounts of money. I know it was. It was probably hundreds of dollars for this event. I earned the car. I earned the car. Spending all my money on this Hogan. Keep spending. I earned the car. If they ain't six stars, I don't want to buy more. Spending all my money on this Hogan. Oh, play for two more hours. You ran out. Buy more. If it ain't six stars, keep spending. If it ain't six stars, I don't want it. I earned the card, right? I'm, I'm like proud of myself. Oh my god, I actually earned this card. And wow, it was very hard to do. I'm one of the few people in the game who even earned it. I think it was only like 20 people in the whole game who had the card or whatever. Okay? And I can tell you exactly what happened. Immediately after I earned that card. Within one week, they announced we're rebooting the game. The card is now going to essentially be way reduced in value. We've been hanging and banging, bro. And you know what this reminds me of? When I worked at the helicopter company, Helicopter Support, it 1 million percent reminds me of that. American oh. Band, 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 band. Gone forever.
for a major company, a helicopter company. It's called Aftermarket Support for helicopters. Okay. They're flying around. Uh oh, uh oh. Things are breaking down. Parts are wearing out. We're a one-stop shop for helicopters. But I was told we see potential for you. Uh oh, you're better than just working customer support. Revamp the business from ground up. You can map it out and find bottlenecks and find shortcomings and find helicopters so that our company runs more efficiently. Okay? So I busted my ass. I worked my ass off. I did double work, double, double work. Never got paid for it. And you say, oh, it's part of the process, man. It's just part of corporate America. Fuck you. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. To me, fuck you. Why don't you listen to me? You don't know shit. It happened to me, so shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. It happened to me. Fuck you. Why don't you listen to me? You don't know shit. It happened to me. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. Said. That being 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 said. Hello, hello. This is Phil. Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said. Big ups. That being said. Which vest is podcast vest? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Ski to the dead. Psychological style host. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? If there was ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on That Being Said. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm laughing like a little sissies. baby. Oh. Sissies, we're all four little sissies. <laughs> I can't do that. So anyways, we got it's logical style, <laughs> cerebral style, secret musical style, musical style, creative style, Lizard of Oz style, host style. We're all here in the house. Old style. That being said, time old style, of course, old style. Have to point that out. We're all here. It is time. For us to get you into the week that was, the week that is, and um, business style announcements, Meerkat, you're on the clock for that, though. Go ahead. Business style. There aren't any. 
That's it. We're not really doing anything at the moment. <laughs> Special. Um, so yeah, that's it. No business, no news. So you can't go to your news desk. Oh yeah, there's no news desk. Uh, News desk is empty today. No news news desk, yeah. (laughs) But Steve, you had a great question of the week. You know, we always do the question. You know, we do question of the week, and we always, 100 percent of the time, go back to them at the end of the show. We never forget. We never forget those. So So we have one idea for today that we're, of course, we're not going to forget. So Steve, what was your idea? You got a tweet about something? Let's know. Let's do that. Set that up today for our question of the day that we're definitely not going to forget. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, I got a tweet from someone who's relatively new to the vortex. And they asked me if um, the scorn begging is like the first real DSP mask off moment or mm. have there been, you know, other examples of that. And so I tweeted out asking people, you know, what are some of your favorites? And I've had quite a few like interesting ones. So I thought, who better else to ask than chat? Because yes. they will surely have their own mask off moments. So like for me, obviously, you get like your hospital things and things like that. But um, for me, a particular favorite is... The, uh, the Pokemon stream when he got very, very angry at like people not coming out. Yep. When he said, you know, support this attendance has been slow and you guys need to step it up and all that. <laughs> Remember, so, he said, I'm tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired moon, of it. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people are lazy. <laughs> That's a great and That was one. about over. That was, he was mad because that was like 400 people. Yeah, 400 watching. people. And we never nowadays, got over 400. We never got over 400. Huh? I'm just tired of it. Everyone's hmm. lazy. Okay, great job. So, uh, yeah, I... <laughs> question of the week. What's your favorite DSP mask off moment? Yes. Let us know. Thank you. What's up there? We're definitely going to get back. If we don't get back to that, please just just hate us. Just, just cancel us. <laughs> just <Can't... laughs> If we don't get back to it, just write it in the comments below. Or yeah, just yeah. write something for the algorithm because we can really use it, you guys. We're, we're trying to get that <laughs> channel back to prominence. Yeah. But if, I don't want, care if, if we forget it. it and you need to remind us, do it in a super chat because then that's the best way of us remembering. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Super sticker down there, or super thanks. Yeah. You know. yeah, we get those right away. Gift your that memberships really helps help the community. So if you want to do that. All right, big ups to Omnigast. Says it sounds like he's saying autistic style host. No, artistic style host. Please don't go play around. Iron Wolf in the house. Says big ups Alt, Sam, Meerkat, and Getty. Getty Lee reference I'll take there. it. I'll take it. Getty Lee's better than Phil. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Hello to Steve. Steve. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, Steve. what was that? <laughs> I just shit myself when he said that. <laughs> nice. Nice timing. Hello to Steve. Speaking of Steve, we got a super chat from Steve. He says, when Phil hugs Cat, can his hands touch? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> not that he ever would. He never gets that close, though. So don't worry about it. That's not a question you have to concern yourself with. He never gets close enough. And uh, I guess let's start right the fuck there. So on Wednesday... Day off, guys. The day off. He works six days a week to get this single day off, right? Mm-hmm. Once more time with his wife, right? Can't do anything. Day off time, you know, that full 24-hour period where no work has to be done. You can choose whatever you want to do with your time. Cat, apparently, is playing Starfield. So as you do on your day off when you're playing Starfield, and your wife is definitely living in your house playing Starfield. It's definitely <laughs> happening for, for sure. We all know that. What does Phil do? He has a imp- Prop to stream. And well, could you read the tweet, please, Samuel, if you have it up there? Uh, I do indeed. Yes, go Here ahead. it is. There is a chance that later tonight, i.e. in one or two hours or so, I may do an impromptu stream. If I do, it'll likely be more Lily MP as I want to get her as high up ranked as possible before the hiatus. I'll let you know if I'm going live here soon after I eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I eat that's... dinner. Yeah, I eat I eat dinner as well. Not well. I eat dinner. So I know we're all getting too deep into this, you know, mm-hmm. we're all theorizing and stuff. But to me, that sounds that sounded very much like team divorce stocks or should be at all time high. I mean, when you first read that, Meerkat, you had to be questioning your allegiance to team health, I thought. But what do you think, Meerkat? Never, never. <laughs> Ride or die. Because like shit like this has happened to me in the past too. Because I work a nine to five and I got the weekends off and my girlfriend works remotely and works whenever. And sometimes she just has work to do or something else to do. Maybe a the season finale of a show she likes is out and she wants to watch it. So I got like a, an hour or so for myself. So I just do something else. So I'm not super surprised he actually was doing something else instead of spending time with Kat. I am surprised that he decided to stream. Because he's been crying very consistently since he's been streaming, I guess. 
uh, about having only one day off a week and how much he wanted to have more free time. And when he had free time now, he chose to stream, which actually is not that bad. I kind of give him some credit for that. Um, like I said in my on my own stream, he almost did it right because Mortal Kombat came out that same day and he could have played it day one as mm -hmm. a hype out of nowhere stream, but he was just playing Street Fighter. <laughs> so yeah. I'm uh, I'm I'm not surprised that he was doing something by himself. I'm surprised that he streamed and he almost did it right. That's my my bottom line. It doesn't change my affiliation or dedication to my team. I believe uh in the long run we got it in the bag. And uh that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh Sam, what were your first thoughts uh, uh when you saw that tweet go out and the the news was spreading? Uh, I, I didn't see it at the time, but because uh, uh, so I didn't know anything about this impromptu stream. But my thoughts are, um, for one thing, you said I think this week um, that uh, you may you may return to that idea of uh, getting out the old playthroughs on you know the Final Fantasy 13s and all that. You haven't you just haven't yep. had time, just haven't got to it, guys. There you go. There's a couple of hours you could have sorted that shit out. You could have, you know, downloaded some free editing software and stuck it all together and got it out or, you know, just started uploading it or whatever. Um, you could have... You could have done garage. anything. Clean that fucking garage. garage. You could have done that. Clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tidied up his office. He could have... He could have... Um, uh, done some tweaking yeah. on OBS. He could have finally sorted out not having to do that stupid thing where his webcam's over the side of the screen when he tries to set up for <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> There's all manner of things he could have been doing, but no, he he, he just did. You know, he just did, did what he does best, which is mm -hmm. you know earning what was it fifty five dollars. So yeah, is that what he got from it? Yeah, I didn't know yeah, he could make money from it. Plus so. super chats or whatever, and uh, but well, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, that could I know that could be a little bit of reason for this is that tips are lower these days, so he might have been trying to get a little extra cash. Okay, I'm not going to roll that out, but I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in your mom's basement. If you have if you if your significant other's doing like, playing video games, there's always shit you can do that needs to be taken care of. Like, okay, I'll just do my laundry a little early this week, or I'll clean this thing that's needed fixing. I don't care where your living situation is. There's something you could be doing. But he doesn't do that. He streams, and then we're still going to get the bitching, though, about those things he could have done, right? Oh, so, yeah. oh, God, that garage. I never have a chance to clean it. All right. How about the litter box? Thank you, DB James. How about that litter box? You think it's ever been fully refreshed, as you should do every once in a while, you know? Fully clean it out, you know, and put new sand in there and stuff to make sure your cat doesn't have problems. Could have done that. None of that stuff happens. And that's because he has nothing to do. Because I really, really think now that Cat is not there. I don't think Cat is there anymore. I, I've never been so strong on this thought that it, because he also, Astrodonis pointed out, he did say my cat when he had never said my cat before. It was always our cat. Now it's my cat. I need to eat dinner. Not we need to eat dinner. Things are changing. Things, he's also more emotional these days. I really want to compare this week during my week stream of WPIG. I'm going to go to those days when Leanna was gone, but he was still pretending she was not gone and see the verbiage used there because I think we're getting it here. I think we're getting it right now. It is time. She is gone. And we're because, like, unfortunately, Kat doesn't have any social media, probably because Phil told her not to do anything. But, like, Leanna, if you don't remember, she posted a picture of someone's random cat. On Instagram, and then yeah. every, every, that was like everyone's like, "Okay, she's gone, she's really gone." You know, we're not gonna get that, right? We're not gonna get that. So he's gonna have to wait for Phil to blow up for some reason to tell us the truth, which is probably not gonna happen. But I really think she's gone now. Really, it's not a joke anymore. I think she's, and I'm happy for her. Hopefully, I'm happy for her. Hopefully, because I hope she made a, she's somewhere that she could be taken care of wherever she goes. But I think she's gone. But Steve, what's your take though? I'd like to officially welcome you into the loving embrace of Team Divorce. <laughs> you, will, you will see success soon in your life. Um, I think for me, I, I, I'm impressed that he actually went outside his schedule when we know like how rigorously he sticks to it. And like you both said, he nearly got it right. If he'd have come out and gone like, right, Mortal Kombat time, doing it a day early as a surprise for you guys. Let's fucking go. Let's do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, hey guys, special out of nowhere, look, let's go through some old Final Fantasy 13 footage, let's plug in the drives and have a look now, special street, you know, okay, could have made a lot more money, been a bit more hype, but instead he's automatically downplaying this, yeah, probably just watch Street Fighter, it'd be fine, but 
for me to do that, to go outside of your schedule to that extent, telling me that there's something driving it, something way more important. And I think that thing is money because he only streams for money. He got money and he needed money because tips have been low. Yeah, He's looking at like, I think he's overspent. I think he expected to do much better than he did with like Starfield and MK1 and the Street Fighter 6 hype. Now that Game Trek has gone, you know, it's it's difficult for him to sort of like more appropriately curb back his spending now that he's lost a bit of income. So instead, he's panicking and trying to make up for what he's not made up previously. Because, you know, if everything had been fine and Game Tracker had stayed, he'd have been great. It'd have been carrying on like normal. But instead, he's overspent and he's like, oh, shit, I need to do more. I need to make more money. So that's why we've been seeing a bit of a, I've got a few hours. Fuck it, I might as well. I can't just sit here spending money on champions. I'll do this instead. Or he's got a few hours spare, and in a normal, as as a normal person would think, oh, I'll play some games. I've got a couple of hours while she's doing that downstairs. I'll play some. But instead, he thinks, well, I could play it, but why would I play it and not be paid for it? When yeah, instead, yeah, I it. can play it and be paid for it. But either way, money's involved. His his desire for money. Because again, like we're saying, and I'm sure we're about to move on to tips have been very, very slow. Support has been very, very slow. It's not been a good month for Phil so far. Yep. Mm. And Dune Messiah has a good question. Are we close to a new incident? Well, (laughs) (laughs) the, the, The uh, the, the, (laughs) the circumstances are in place. For a new incident. Yes, you're right about that. COVID-1984 says, team divorce stock has never been higher. I agree with that. I, I don't think how you can't agree with that. If you don't think it's 100%, you have to think this is the time. This is the time where the stocks will be maximum hype. Maximum hype right now. This is what you don't want to buy. Like uh, we're Steve's laughing because he bought a long time ago. Right? He bought a long time ago. and He's, he's rolling in the, the profits. The sky now. isn't the limit. There is no limit. <laughs> Dominic says, if she's gone, then no one is cleaning that litter box, doing laundry, <laughs> cleaning dishes. Imagine the state of the snore for it. Yikes. Oh, that's a good point. Didn't think about that. Mm. Jasper is in shambles right now. Just shit wherever he gets a chance. Spare patch of floor. That's where he shits now. Can you imagine? I love <laughs> I love the idea that we're getting we possibly in order to prove that she's still there, we're getting ever closer to to do is it in The Simpsons where Homer or someone's like, Hello, I'm Mr. Burns or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the yeah. I'm coming in. Like I could see that happening at some point. Definitely. Does anyone I'm, yeah, go ahead, I'm guy. Still buying literally anything you guys are trying to sell? And that's not because I uh, I'm already uh, in a team. The you know yeah. fictional quote unquote team. It just yeah. makes absolutely no sense to me. He's acting the same way he was acting like a year ago when it comes mm. to like telling the stories of him and Cad and what they did on their stupid day off and the DoorDash they had. There's no change in behavior for me. He doesn't seem more crazy or unhinged or triggered over like tiny things than he was like a couple months ago. Really, no, none of this makes any sense to me. You don't think, though, Meerkat, there's a correlation between... Also, he's going overtime more than ever before. Now, that could be waiting for tips. I know. We could we could not know that. But I think this week I saw... Some, he went overtime of five of the days, right? Five of six days he went overtime. When before, that was not something he did. It wasn't that often he went overtime. He's going more overtime because why do you have to get off stream? You got no one else with you. Fuck it. I might as well stay on stream. What do I got waiting for me? Hogan's and Jin. That's it. This, to me, is way more related to him seeing that tips are at a record low in the last couple of months. And yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's yeah. been like, he can barely get it to 50 yesterday on the night stream. He made like 10 bucks off of one dude who would have been <laughs> banned in his chat because of racism. If he wasn't pay, a pay pig. Yes, that's, like, true. that's true. It, that's all that it is for me. He's trying to put in quote unquote more effort. So people can, recognize it and appreciate it through contributions i don't think it has anything to do with his his uh like family wife relations you don't All think right. he's panicking about losing that income as well well how much could that if be, she though? left well part-time and the benefits hmm with the yeah, benefits. and the benefits yeah the bet okay yeah i see what you mean by benefits like cleaning up stuff yeah yeah that would no, no, be no, a, her, mean... her government in- assistance as well oh uh, well that's that's <laughs> not confirmed i, not I confirmed, people... but either way yeah part-time yeah. job and yeah cleaning and cooking and all that yeah done, you know losing that losing that part-time income is still 
a chunk, especially once one of your whales has, has had to bow out, and you know, and you're not going to stop your spending because you're dark side Phil. Why would you Kirby spending? Someone else will make up the money. It's future Phil's problem. So, yeah. you know what though? I don't. I don't know if he's that worried. Like if she's gone, it's fine. Did you not hear him the other day? He had the rockets with him. So, uh, oh you know, yeah. That, so, so you know, he, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, and, and before that, he had an entire harem of women he, did? he went yeah. to the store with. So he's doing so, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what GBRC says. Uh, Cat believed the large set woman story and left him. The, the, <laughs> that could be. <laughs> She's on Reddit and left. <laughs> Fike says, will he ever take the bait? Cat shows herself live. Well, that's the thing. Has anyone tried it? Uh, people that watch the real stream more. Has anyone tried to ask questions about that or get him going about that? Cutting this serpent's head off before we even get the chance. Phil, people are asking about your wife because it's not normal to not see a woman like like your wife for several years. The last time we've seen her was a picture in 2021 from 2020. You know, mm -hmm. that is not normal. That is not normal in other <laughs> relationships. That is a red flag. So people are asking about your wife for that reason. There you go. Carry on. I think yeah. it's pretty normal since she got basically bullied off of the Halloween stream and she just left <laughs> and has no desire to come back. I think it's perfectly normal that we never see her ever again because she has nothing to do with what Dave is doing at any given moment. She just cooks food for him for his stupid uh, marathon streams. And that's her <laughs> utility. That, that's about I... it. OK, well, then how about this, though? She stopped going out with him yeah. for those off days. That was a change. Mm -hmm. Right, she used to go every time. We got to go with get our errands done. Then all of a sudden, yeah. switch. That was the only time they had together. That's so, so yeah. true, actually. Yeah. yeah, and that stopped. Just this, that just this week, stopped. it was like I went grocery shopping, not we went grocery shopping. So yeah, that's true. And he's he's always he's still got these appointments. Like hey, what 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 is this? This is what I want to know. What kind of person has an appointment like every week? Uh, I don't know. That makes me think team health, though. Like, that's team health something. Like, you, that's yeah. the only thing you could do. A weekly appointment? That's like you have a condition that needs checking every fucking week. I don't even know what that could be. Yeah, that's that's the... appointment could be anything, though. So you use it to, to be general and vague so no one could pin you down on, well, why are you going to the bank every week, for example? Yeah, why are you true. Mm. Mechanics every week? You just got oh, random appointments. I've got appointments. You know, like doctors, mechanics, hairdressers, whatever. So just yeah. like vague enough. That you can't pin him down on it could be could be yeah just to make himself sound like busier i guess yeah as well yeah you have to lap as well yeah james says phil commented on noise outside his door the other week cat moving her things team divorced to the moon i remember brad birdie made a joke about that <laughs> where what if if your wife is in your house and normally doing stuff a noise outside the door is not holy shit hold, what who was that huh mm. that was freak out right Meerkat, you're thinking, right? Come on. I'm not thinking. No, I'm not thinking. <laughs> I'm drinking, but not thinking. I'm, By the I'm way, just drinking. for the record, I've I've long forgotten what team I'm on. I have no idea anymore. I don't. I just like listening to you guys fucking debate it. Uh, Be awesome. One says, last time I heard Cat was when Mr. Butterfinger spilled uh, seltzer all over her pants, to which she responded with, "I don't care." Yeah, how long ago was that? That was, that was that ages goes, ago. There was a yeah. DoorDash, wasn't there? I think he got a door dash once and that you could hear them talking about the order. <laughs> I think that was a bit more recent than that, but it's still a long time ago. I'm sure. There we go. So yeah, Dominic's agreed with you. So yeah, what I don't know if that I brought that up. And then I was corrected uh by people saying it was him talking to Jasper, possibly. Mm. Maybe. So I don't know. Maybe. Uh, also, great point, James. How about the birthday? We always hear about Kat's birthday shit. This time we heard a little bit, right? What was the special? They went the day. What happened on her birthday this year? They so went pies or something. Uh, pie, pie. Yeah, the pie yeah. from Costco birthday party. Mm -hmm. Now we don't I go to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. In, in the end, yes, it, it's not crazy that she's not on camera because, you know, mm -hmm. she doesn't want to be on there. So she might say, fuck it. I'm checked out of his shit. But it's starting to phil's actions are starting to change that so is it from the tips is it from his wife not being there combination of the two that's the that's the, the days we're in right now the change um, in appearance you know, as well like changing actually appearance? showering Ooh, and... didn't even think about that see you meerkat good on tinder <laughs> get fucked meerkat imagine seeing him one. on fucking tinder <laughs>
think the, the whole uh, divorce thing is based on just wishful thinking of, of what people actually want to happen because it's going to be very entertaining, the, the shit that he's going to start pulling after it happens. And then they start wrapping every piece of information around that idea of wishful thinking and what okay. you actually want to happen. So it's really interesting speculating about it's it not, because yeah. everything can be true or might not be true at the same time because he's an unreliable narrator. Yes. But I think there's really nothing going on. Mm. Likely, yeah. But it's the sort of the fun of the speculation and the joking sort of like taking it seriously enough to the point where we're on teams. That yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, makes yeah. it fun. Yeah. But it's also <laughs> even more fun because then Phil doesn't get that level of irony and thinks we are actually being serious. Yeah. And actually believe yep. it. So when it gets back to him, it's like that. Yeah. In a way, we're kind of debunking also his narrative that we all just randomly agree on stuff like a hive yeah. mind when this whole time, I don't know, we've been live for like 20 minutes. It's been nothing than just disagreeing and throwing out different arguments as to why for yeah. both sides. <laughs> and in, in the end, the cool thing is that it, it doesn't fucking matter anyways, because like we don't really personally care about what's going on. We're just talking about the stupid reality show bullshit. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And uh, big ups to be awesome one with the pie super sticker. Love that. It looks like a pie. Wow. Pie. <laughs> uh, real quick, I made a fun game. It's short, short as shit, but I'm going to go. Oh. Who can name of you three? Let's go around the room. Please name. Because remember, in the MK stream, Mortal Kombat, his first stream was horrible. Like $15 for the night stream for that new game. The next day, he went alpha bag mode before the next stream. And he talked about memberships for extra long. So I want you guys to name me. Tell me, what do you get? What did he say you get? Oh, the benefits. When you become a membership. The benefits, right? <laughs> oh, so easy. Please tell me the benefits. But <laughs> So you, I guess, Sam, you go first. I'll give you the easy one. What's something you get when you become a member of DSP Gaming? A cool chat crown badge. Exactly how he said it. You get a cool chat crown badge that says how long you've been a member. Correct. <laughs> Next, I'll go to Meerkat next, please. Give me one. Uh, you get a special highlighted message. When you extend, <laughs> he did not say that one, but I, I know that is true. He didn't say that one though, so we'll give the half credit on that. Steve, how about you? Uh, you get to ignore slow mode. Exactly, and this is how he said it: you get unlimited amounts of talking. <laughs> 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 you have unlimited amounts of talking. <laughs> oh wow! Cool. <laughs> Can you imagine your amount cutting out with sentence. So what I was trying to say, Phil, was <laughs> you have reached your limited amount. Yeah. Of talk. <laughs> Gotta be a member, bro. All right, one more. I'll give you. I'll give you the last one. <laughs> limited uh, talking text. <laughs> <laughs> limited talking text. <laughs> um, you do get also tons of emotes that you could use in chat. Tons of emotes. Mm. Yep. So we know how great those are. And the last one is, is what I think the most special one. This is what you get. If you are a member, you have the ability to have, you have the ability to have priority access to all kinds of fun stuff when it comes to special events. Yeah, ask the king, which just hasn't happened. In <laughs> you fucking... Tell me what that means. Oh, that's what he's talking about. You get the ask questions. I believe so. <laughs> I think yeah. it falls. You get the yeah. the sending him links to stuff uh, when he's doing like a you know the ad apocalypse <laughs> bullshit. You get to send him something to react to. <laughs> but I guess that's on the DSP reaction. Yeah. I'm fucking confused at this point. <laughs> So I thought and there are people uh, sending him, I think it was Super Chats or something about posting in the previous week's React and they're like very concerned that he's not going to react to their video and then all you got to tell him is like, post it in this week's React instead. <laughs> wow, some high IQ plays. Oh yeah, the best thing is that now it's getting more, now people are figuring out what we like to see, but really just Phil saying what he likes to see. So he's like, yeah, we're not getting food all the time. We're not getting Tic Tac all the time. Please submit your videos, those guy. Anything is fine. Kind of getting tired of the TikTok though, and he has all these like things he doesn't like anymore. You uh, which really did funny. just call it TikTok then, didn't you? Tick TikTok. I was now it's on purpose. Okay, TikTok, yeah. TikTok. Okay. Francisco in the house. Though, is, yeah, yeah, he lost his secret Discord, and it's awfully quiet now. The cleaning up is for tips since they are at an all time low. Yeah, I mean it could be. That could be. What we're all talking about is that. Uh, I love that. Shall, um, yep. Go please. Just quickly, I love that food's out, TikTok's out, but nine eleven. That's good. I, was about to say, I love that you know you can't uh, submit anything adult because it age restricts the videos. Uh, you can't submit anything for children because they're not suitable for advertisers. So what can you submit? 
Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. for adults or for children, you can't submit anything. Food like or... the 14 to 18 <laughs> age bracket. I don't know. <laughs> also, the, this weird thing about branding it as a clips show. So that for him means he's going to watch a limited amount of a certain video, whether or not it's in context or not. So he skips through like a 15 minute video in like and watches like 30 second increments. And that for him is what a clips show is. Instead of just people sending him short, maybe like one to three minute video so he can watch the whole thing, tell us what he thinks and then move on. Yeah. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it is anymore because it's, it's called DSP Reacts which implies that he's going to watch like a whole thing. You know, you see anyone reacting to anything on YouTube and it's them reacting to one video, yeah. uh, the whole thing, the whole thing, you know, yeah, yeah. and then it's labeled as such, you know, in the, well, they'll just do it off air, won't they? And then upload it. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. presumably, presumably there are streamers that do this and then cut that bit out and upload it separately. And it will be DSP reacts to, whatever you know but this is just so it's all good. over the place yeah. it's yeah and there's no the, the fact that it's like it's you're not guaranteed to watch the whole thing is just it's so weird i don't get they're, it man. they're all titled like dsp reacts like um hottest food um you know as and gold uh real life ninja turtles question mark question mark you know yeah <laughs> that, that's it that's all you, rather than like you know dsp reacts this video by this person and that the whole thing yeah, yeah. And plus, yeah, nerd brew DSP reacts with goat laughs. That's exactly it as well. There's, there's very little, <laughs> very little else other than like, yeah, to, and and whatever. All interesting, you know. Every so often, just interjecting something just to say that he's he's reacting in some way, but you're not really yeah. getting much. And uh, no. since you guys brought up uh, 9/11 from uh, last week's react, there was some interesting videos that he reacted to. So one of them was. People reacting to DSP and like not knowing who DSP oh, yeah. is, and Great one, they just yep. tell them. We use that one. Uh, right? Yep, we and, used it last night. Mm -hmm. Go. And uh, there was uh, this guy Adam uh, Pachiti from some wrestle wrestle. Pot, yeah, cultaholic, cultaholic wrestling. Yeah. And uh, he was imitating, you know, the DSP Wang face. And DSP was like, "Why is everybody just uh, like <laughs> yeah. imitating the face that I did?" He didn't get it. <laughs> just didn't get it. It really annoys him that people he can't get why we do it, and he's like, "Because people mock me for looking ugly." So why would you do that? It's like we're mocking you, mate. You look like this. <laughs> <laughs> like just that is funny. That's but funny enough. Doing their old faces, and it's like, well, they're not <laughs> doing you. Just yeah, we played last night too. The Justin Wong part of that, where he mm -hmm. he said the whole Street Fighter community hated him because he was popular on YouTube. Well, I hate to say this, but <laughs> people were hated him way before he even started his YouTube. Justin Wong had many. Phil talked shit about Justin Wong on so many occasions before 2009. It's not even funny. It's not even mm -hmm. close, you know. And then he said, of course, Jai let us know, of course, that. No one gave a shit about his YouTube. It was about what no one cared about creating content. But Phil said these words, those people are all jealous because they can't make successful content like I can. But mm. they weren't even trying. No one was. Who gave a shit? But that's the reason is Phil tried to make you believe that everyone hates him because he was successful. That's why the FGC hated him. Forget all the stuff about Monkey Spang. Just Jaha wanted to kick his ass because he talked so much shit. Oh, forget about all that. Who cares? That's not All that shit that happened before the invention of YouTube that we're talking yes. about. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was amazing retcon that luckily mm. Jaha could talk us out of there. That was That's one of the most untrue things he's ever said. Is that. That it's because Jaha is because just to say, to hint at. Justin Wong is jealous of my YouTube success back then. When Justin Wong was worried about win tournaments back then, he didn't have a YouTube channel himself. He didn't care. He, it's uh, it was it was funny. And saying you can see for people yeah. uploading Street Fighter content at that time, the primary concern was the Street Fighter content because they were Street Fighter players and fans, and so it was that it wasn't making you know an audience. They weren't there to grow an audience. They were there to upload stuff for other fans of Street Fighter. So, yeah. it, it, like making money and growing a channel wasn't the primary focus for them, but it was for Phil. Money was yeah. the prime thing for Phil. Also, it wouldn't have been like a known thing at the time. Like, it wouldn't, like, being a successful YouTuber uh, back then is nothing like it is now. Like, I don't, I don't know if it was possible at the time to be jealous of something that was so sort of new and unknown, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, it's such yeah. a weird, like, 
like pathetic retcon. <laughs> and this is Phil. <laughs> there was also to, something. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. I would even say the most interesting part of the whole react um, was him catching a stink bug in a box and then <laughs> un unleashing it outside of his house. And all of that is actually still recorded in, in the video that he's also reacting to stuff. It's not an unrecorded segment. He left it all in as he's away for like five minutes to catch a stink bug and then to let it out. It's incredible. This, it's, this, it's the this first sort like of, six minutes. <laughs> this sort of thing, I've, I'm finding more and more amazing every time it happens. Like I keep noticing now these like extended periods of dead air, and it's like even funnier because it's got the the aircon in the background, so it's just buzzing away. And like like sometimes you can hear him just you know blowing his nose or something. But it's just like you know, especially when it's his podcast as well, because it's a podcast, you know. Like you're leaving that in, are you? Like for the audio listeners, it's great. I love it. It's, it's, it's the sort of thing you think about every time he goes. I care about putting out a product that my mm -hmm. fans yeah, will yeah, care exactly. About content. <laughs> those exactly. spiels are getting longer and longer, aren't they? Or is that just me? Like those spiels now are epic levels. Like, mm. All right, guys, let me tell you a little bit about what I do around here. All right, every single day he has to start with it. every stream now. And he, I'm a, yeah, yeah, it's like so long now. He has the whole the whole script going, you know. But he, and he's also finding new and amazing ways of like pivoting to that as well. Like he'll, <laughs> someone will ask him a question in Q and A about like something to do with whatever, and then he'll just sort of like. Eh, but that's what I'm talking about. You know, these people are. You know, they're crazy. So what? <laughs> Why did we get onto that? I got the script going. I got the script going. <laughs> <laughs> or a master. I stole your joke. All right, Brain Dance Fairy said, what's lower, DSP's IQ or credit score? <laughs> mm. Oh, hey. The pasta Maker says, remember, there's no way for him to react to half-hour videos. He just can't figure mm. out a way to do it. It's his 36 officers puzzle. There we go. Yeah. So you can't, re you can't submit longer videos, but he'll skip videos way shorter than those. Right? So if you submit yeah. a four-minute video, he'll skip that. But if you can't submit a 30 minute video, though, please. What are you crazy? Please. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong yeah. with you? Mouth drool. And uh, since Steve brought up the random titles of his uh, React video, here's a good one Uncle Roger slash Joe Rogan versus Circumcision slash <laughs> SSX Rage Quit DSP versus the Internet episode 29. And uh, the one with 9-11 is also fucking crazy, dude. I, I, I can't believe he wrote the title right like that. So it starts off with best gaming combat slash remembering 9-11 slash worst <laughs> Olympic race. DSP versus the Internet, episode 30. So, okay, I'm just quickly looking now because yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, like... It's, I was going to say, like, it's it's amazing that he's getting, like, yeah, okay, 372, 535, 350 views, 560. He's lucky to be getting those views with titles like that now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Like, mm. you know. Oh, it's just yeah, like random this. nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only thumbnail in which he's not making the weird smiley face is the one for 9 11, because that's supposed <laughs> to be a serious video. Yeah. I was notice? just about to bring that up. <laughs> There'll occasionally be videos where it's, like, different, like, his face will change. There's one where he's like full body, like they photoshopped him onto a full body, and the, the bodies go like this. Oh my like, god! For some reason, like, oh, I need to see. What's that see. for? <laughs> what? Like the, there's Brett one with him like heels. photoshopped onto yeah. the Hulk's the Hulk's body, and I'm sure there's another one somewhere of him like pulling like a disgusted face. I think it might be the one where he was reacting to um, what's his name, the guy that eats the horrible shit, um. The, or the local LA beast. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, King Cobra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, Cobra, I, think yeah, yeah. I think for that one, he's pulling like some sort of face. But yeah, it's clearly all the same oh, like the photo shoot. Bit. Oh fuck the <laughs> headache bit. Oh, when he did that, when he started yeah. doing that head shit. Oh my god. <laughs> the thumbnail is that he's him doing that. And he looks <laughs> yeah, but awful. It, it also makes him look like he's doing the racist Asian yeah. eyes thing. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Next to a ra next to an Asian guy. Yeah. Like, just like right there. It really doesn't look good. Not a good look, Bill. It does not look good. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that like a wrestling one? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the, the, the way the thumbnail is framed, on the left side is him doing the racist Asian face, and on the right side is an Asian guy. And in yeah. the middle it says versus. So it's like they're fighting. <laughs> I like you scrolling down through all this, and then you get 
Feasting with Billy. Feeding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is he why does he pick them thumbnails? Why didn't he have a thumbnail for that? Because some random person makes them and he goes, Yep, that'll do. And that's it. That's literally all it is. Oh my god. These no thumbnails Yeah, like they're putting the minimum effort in. Whoever's making these, but it's like they're almost mm. trolling level. Like if it, yeah. if he's asked mm. the tractor to do it, they I mean we probably slip in some more secret <laughs> funny stuff, but I mean it wouldn't be much different than this in terms of effort. It'd Come be on. better. We could do it better. Yeah, but like, look at the spacing of his image too. It's not even. <gasps> that should be the next competition. Do a thumbnail for the a fake DSP thumbnail. That's react. a quick one. Yeah, we can do <laughs> yeah, that in a week. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a quick a quick contest. Make a <laughs> thumbnail. Holy fuck, God, man! They're awful. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, I just saw your point here. If you have it up, chat, you can see what we're talking about. The nine eleven one. It, okay, he's still in the cowboy hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But instead of his normal crazy <laughs> smile that I just finished two weeks of of rehab. Mm-hmm. It's the serious, yeah. like he's starting rehab face instead. <laughs> <laughs> he just got assigned to rehab, but then the next one is back to the smile. It's been two weeks on rehab, two weeks sober. Like now, because we've joked about the smiling one being like, like Photoshop AI or something, like yeah. some sort of filter. But now I'm thinking it actually might be because it yeah. looks the 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 angle. Unless he just literally had the phone in exactly the same place. And took two quick pictures because he does not move. No, yeah, it's definitely AI, isn't it? This kind of proves it to me. You're right. You know, it's, my debunk is that I've actually done this in in yeah. an app oh, yeah. to make him smile, and it looks more legitimate than whatever the fuck he's doing. So he's definitely for real. It's 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 not he's AI trying. in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah, it won't be a filter. Like. That's like a troll by whoever makes these fucking. I mean, I guess it's right because you don't have a smile for nine eleven. But like to pick that same fucking face is very funny. It'll just be, it'll just be like a frame from the video itself, won't it? It'll be like right if you look sad at this moment there, that's the frame we'll cut out and use. But yeah, yeah, but no. Yeah, but most of they them, when, did... uh, that fake false smile looks uncanny. It's like when you know you're, photo- you're having a picture taken, and they go smile, so you do your, hmm, you know, not a real <laughs> actual smile. So. Yeah, Great channel. Right. But Every since video we mentioned nine eleven, who's actually please. seen the video? Who of us has actually the the nine eleven clip? I couldn't watch it. it. I, 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 I I watched it. Clip. I flicked through it a little bit, and it's just so unpleasant. I just can't imagine being I've in that not, position. I've, I've not seen it. Yeah, and I don't. Particularly yeah, I, I saw it. I mean, it was. I don't even know what what to tell you. It was stupid because there was like a huge tonal contrast. Bef- between the video that came before and the afterwards yeah. video mm. where it's like in in the the day before 9-11 you get a dude reacting to 9-11 happening and it's all like wow wow that's fucked up man oh that's fucked up <laughs> and the day after that he's like hey you guys if you want to check out me reminiscing on 9-11 go check out the dsp reacts video from yesterday he was actually plugging that shit on 9-11 the actual day Crazy man. <laughs> if it, I mean, it, you, I just, I think, I just think it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's kind of like in bad taste to have to have given that the go ahead. Because, mm. like, if it, if it, if it hadn't, if it had been like, you know, are people remembering it? Not yeah. here is footage and and audio clips of people. You know, I just think, yeah, yeah. bad taste. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, thanks for everybody pointing that out. He didn't blame TSA for that. So he, would you oh, like to hear the clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you yeah, like yeah, to hear please. what he said immediately please, after please. once people started questioning his... Uh, yeah, because TSA yeah. was formed after 9-11 because of 9-11, wasn't it? Yeah. We should point that out. Like, that was oh, this is, this is a little bit after once he'd started noticing people in chat yeah. saying, you know, you're monetizing uh, oh, right, 9-11. Right. So, yeah, yeah. so here we go. Also, I find it hilarious, of course, trolls showed up when we were watching that footage of 9-11 saying, They're I'm always trying there. to monetize 9-11. <laughs> I don't pick the clips, you idiots. I mean, that's probably the dumbest thing you possibly could have said. As if I chose, I didn't choose anything on this show. I choose none of it. Ultra is selected by the Ultra members, and the other is RNG via YouTube. I don't select any of it. You can't play, you can't pin that one on me, you morons. I don't select the content. It's random for a reason, right? <clears throat> okay. So. Was was the argument that it's not his fault for monetizing 9-11, but he's still monetizing 9-11, yeah, like, say, regardless gonna, of whose fault it is. Gonna go and see if I can find it on the um on the my YouTube app and if an ad plays before it, like. <laughs> like it'd be very easy to say, like, all right, well, we're just gonna skip this one, guys. 
That too. Yeah. He skips every fucking else. What we know? Okay. <laughs> not, not monetized. <laughs> he just went oh, straight okay. in there. All right, there you go. Uh, real quick, shout outs to uh, Meth Bear. For advertisers. Meth Bear says a diverse coin going to the moon means Jasper's going into the garbage disposal. No <laughs> utility. <laughs> this is funny. No utility in an object that makes a mess and no money. There we go. So that, that, uh, that's... he's still monetizable. He still serves some purpose for <laughs> Phil. So uh, yeah. Know. By the way, the actual video is monetized because there's a chat that uh, there's a website you can go and check it. All you need is the link, and it says the video "Best Gaming Combat Remembering 9/11, etc." is monetized. The video currently has 899 views, assuming the average RPM revenue per a thousand views is three dollars. This video has generated two dollars seventy cents. Congrats, Phil! It was all worth it in the end. Mm Guys, guys, this got flagged for not advertiser friendly. I'm gonna lose a lot of money on this. If you could hit those yeah, goals, yeah. looking for 150 Shit. today. I'm gonna lose two dollars on this video. So oh, if the you could. daily goals. They're there. <laughs> the weekly. This week, I want 650 members. Right now, yeah. and I also want at least one day when I get to put my glasses on. So, <laughs> come on, you guys. We got some great Q&A. to talk. Anyone? Yeah, we got some great talks about that. Guys, I, I I just don't understand. I don't. I can't predict how you guys are gonna give me money anymore. I mean, that's what I paraphrase at the end. But he yeah, did yeah, say, yeah. Yeah. "I can't predict what's gonna work, what's not anymore." Guys, it's just weird. You guys seem to be not giving me money as much of, as consistently as before. So it's just weird. And he said this that during I, I didn't expect anything during the impromptu stream, and you guys were great. Then I play MK One. No one donates. Like, dude, being that I just don't know what he thinks like people are giving you money for. Right? What what is the reason people are giving you money in his mind? Because impromptu stream, that could get people kind of like, especially his uh weak minded audience, kind of hype, right? Like, oh shit, yeah, yeah. this is random Phil. I'm so I'm yeah. giving money for this. It's hype. Yeah. yeah. But he thinks that I didn't expect anything for that. Oh god, nothing. I expected nothing. He has to go over the top on that. Like, what is yeah. he? What are people giving money for in his mind? Mm. You know, I, I don't, think, I don't... It, despite what he says, which is that if you guys like the content, the support should come, na- you know, naturally. And then he says, you guys are loving the content. <laughs> but I, I believe he projects his own viewing of relationships, which is transactional, onto other people as well. So he should do something. And when he does that thing, then he should be rewarded by the other people because the transaction is complete now. He gave them what they wanted. They give him what he wants. But it just doesn't work like that. It's not a, it's not a video game. It's not Starfield. You also have them <laughs> um, validating his delusions when he goes, you guys love this, you know? And then somebody in chat is like, yeah, this is great gameplay. I'm loving this place. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See, people are saying, and because it's someone in chat, people are saying in the droves. Droves are that saying. that validates the delusion back. To him, so yeah, we got really we've got we, enablers. Oh god, yeah, we've had some we've had some really good ones regarding um, Starfield as well, like with with people, you know, with kind of lowish support, and also the um, uh, people being derailed. There's been a lot of that this week, where you know you're not allowed to talk about anything but me or ask me <laughs> questions and all that stuff. And then he's like, you know, you can't. He, he starts to go off, you know, missing the point entirely. Like he's just not that interesting. Um, yeah. And starts going off on rants about how, like, like you you asked for this game, you love Bethesda RPG, so you can't tell me it's the game. And it's like, just, I don't know, it's, it's like yeah, yeah. it's that gif with the point, you know, going around the guy's head, and he's just like, you know, it's Superman, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, he also said that uh, Mortal Kombat is specifically about the lower support. He said, "This is what he said. This is a direct quote." Um. Uh, the prompter stream got lots of support, so I was hype. Uh, then this is not the quote yet, but he's saying like, "I got paid. I paid extra to do the story early, and the support was not there." Okay, so then he said this: "It's disheartening when I go out of my way to pay more, so we could play this together because people wanted it, and then it was almost a dead stream for support." That's a direct <laughs> quote. Well, the this only is way it's I... basically <laughs> the scorn clip over and over again. I uh, stayed yeah. over time for you guys, and then you didn't reciprocate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could have, I can kind of see him saying that, like, and having a point if he'd done that on 
the the impromptu stream yeah. then you'd have been like you know okay he he bought the game and he's eager to play it early and you guys didn't turn up for it he's still like it'd still be a dick move to say something like that but yeah. you could kind of see it you a little bit yeah but he did uh, <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead go ahead <laughs> no, I guess that's it. That's it. Uh, and, and he would have a good excuse in the future when a game comes out on his day off to say, well, you guys remember when I bought the Mortal Kombat 1 and I spent $120 and then nobody supported it? Why mm-hmm. would I do it ever again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said all these people asked for it. He's the only one that wanted to do this. He's the only one that wanted to get that fucking fight stick, all this stuff, blame it on the people again. You guys really wanted this, so I'm just kind of disheartened, dude. This was the reason he got the fight stick in the first place. Yeah, he was, yeah. Because Mortal Don't forget Kombat that. isn't cross-play on release, <laughs> and, you know, Don't the larger that shit. install base is on the PlayStation, so, you know, it makes more sense for me to, you know, when playing online, have a wider install, which he's still going to play online. He's going to get his ass kicked online, like normal. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Mainly I mean, this is this is the the reason he gave for like justifying buying the the fight stick. I don't know if he actually wanted to play the fucking thing. He just no, like, he wanted to give everyone a, a good enough excuse to spend a bit of money and make himself feel better. You know, we're fucking Bitcoin running out of things toy, to save the right. business. Let's get real. What's going to save the business now? What game are we waiting for? <laughs> the next Elder Scrolls? That's a few years away. Star Rail Baldur's didn't do Ga- it. No, we can't play Baldur's Gate, can we? But no, Baldur, get the fuck out of here. Indies, they're out. Get, get the fuck mm. out of here with that. What's next? What's FF7 what's the... Rebirth? Like, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm avoiding his channel for the for that entire time, man. When he's playing, <laughs> I do, I, nobody's ruining that for me. <laughs> I don't oh, game right? much at all anymore, and uh, he's not fucking ruining that for me. He thought. He thought, he thought um, he got confused when uh, recalling a moment from Final Fantasy VII, and he's like, "Do you remember the clone of Cloud that reveals that Cloud is a, that Cloud is a clone?" Yeah. And it's like, "No, you mean Zach? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Zach is not a clone of Cloud. He's his own character. It's his own person." But yeah, it's going to be terrible if he touches that. So, oh, we will. He will. We got the curls on tour, by the way. Oh, Liza P yeah. too. Yeah. Liza P. Oh yeah, yeah that's Liza P. yeah, the other P. That's the game uh, that it, Chu is super excited for, by the way. Chu, Chu lore dropping. She wants to get, play that very much. She loves that story. So go ahead, Meerkat. Uh, yeah, apparently it's pretty good. So mm. hopefully she's going to have a nice time. Uh, but I think it's going to be really funny when he eventually gets a green screen and then makes it out to be like the biggest improvement in the history of streaming. <laughs> and then it just nobody really cares because it's been years Oh, dude, no, the best bit about that is going to be when he goes, people have been asking me for this for years. I've finally done it. Where's all the support? Where are you? Like with everything else. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's just going to be the most pathetic thing, man, because I don't see the point in it. I don't get the hype behind it. Like, I want to see I want to see him try and do it just because he's been on about it for so long and everyone has been asking about it for so long. But... You know, I don't think you need one. I really don't. That's a, that's a funny thought, dude. He won't curl the key it out. He'll just literally have a green screen behind him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want this? <laughs> no. What, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, this has really helped, doesn't it? <laughs> that we would can be put fucking... all kinds of stupid shit on there, you know? Like, yeah. if he does easy... that, I'm doing that. I've got a green Restreamers screen. would love that. I mean, the clip channels would fucking love that. Just put whatever the fuck they want up there easily. <laughs> Yeah, they're already green screening him anyways without yeah, him having yeah. a green yeah. screen. I was gonna say it just might like snort Hogan's life a little bit easier. So yeah. Yeah. God. Big up Curls and Twirls, that member Bob, by the way. Curls and Twirls, we are happy to support our sponsor, Curls and Twirls, the best haircuts in Renton, Washington. Go to Curls and Twirls now. If you want hair dye, if you want to get your shit fucked up, they do it all. Curls and Twirls. <laughs> That's where you gotta go. Thank you, Curls and Twirls. We always support you. As you support us. <laughs> yeah, also uh, uh, shout out to Francisco for the super chat who says, Vest streak meant nothing, just a silly little thing. Oh, and, yeah, that's oh, a good topic too. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Mirka. In response to this, I have a direct quote that I've used in one of the songs that played before this stream. This vest is a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun as long as we stay positive. We can <laughs> overcome anything together. I firmly believe at this point in my life that no matter what comes my way, that we can work together to overcome it. No matter what comes my way, we can work together to overcome it. 
<laughs> that's a mask off moment right there. That's his real thoughts. No matter what happens, we okay. can get through this. We re. <laughs> Uh, this reminds me of that Pixar animations uh, little sketch where he's like <laughs> the dictator and in the end it says, together we can pay my bills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> that really gives you the cult feeling right there for sure and uh yeah that's a good one and that that yeah let's not forget how big a deal that fucking vest streak was when it happened that was the biggest shit on earth for him and he was so yeah. di i mean very disappointed when it ended obviously because you lose you start to, you know the money's not going to keep going the gravy train but then now it's a silly thing it was just a silly thing and he took off his vest like look, do you think anyone's gonna stop watching now uh huh you think that yeah, it's not exactly what people are saying, but it is kind of mm -hmm. weird gray area there, dude, where you're saying, like, people do silly shit on stream. They're dumb, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. You're the guy that talked to a fishing hat, brother. Fishing hat. You talk to it, brother. You blow bubbles. <laughs> you blow bubbles. You blow bubbles. You held lures in front of your webcam and saying how shiny they were because you wanted people to <laughs> donate to get them on the hat, brother. We're hanging oh. and banging, brother. Speaking of bubbles... <laughs> Little weird thing I've noticed, like watch him blow the bubbles next next time he does it. You know how like when you blow bubbles, you, you have a tiny, you purse your lips, like you have a tiny little hole. Watch him do it. Yeah. It's really weird. Like it, it's like his mouth doesn't close or something. It's like, it's, like, it's like he's just breathing out, not like blowing. It's very odd. Okay. Just, just another little thing I've noticed. A little silly thing Sam has noticed. Mm. Uh, real quick, Rodrigo in the house says, Yesterday on Density Scroll, Jaha said DSP could have been bigger than Maximilian Dude. Yes, he did say that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you guys think if Phil did nothing wrong and was just an insufferable asshole, he could have been bigger than Max? No, no, here's the no. thing why. No, 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 because he can't adapt, right? No. And if he did it, if he was adaptable human being, absolutely. He had the biggest jump board ever to YouTube stardom, right? Huge yeah. fan base, huge subscriber base. But you have to change, you know, with the times. And that's something he didn't do, obviously. And Max is likable. That's the thing. Max yeah. is likable yeah. and and has legit passion for what he's doing. Like, there is a yeah. difference that's just like, it's it's like an unwritten thing. You can just tell, like, it, you know, you, you don't need to, you only need to watch them for like five minutes to know the, the, the difference between the two. Like, he just loves what he's doing. He's genuinely excited for whatever it is that's coming out next and like yep and and getting hyped you know it's like you know i was saying i'll bang on about it but with the ff7 thing but like he, he you know people go to him when the new trailer drops because they want to hear what he's got to say about it you know mm -hmm. that's you know that's that's what you get yeah also it, it can never be overstated just how important that whole phil is an asshole played into this it is <laughs> yeah. such yeah. a significant influence <laughs> in Phil's life direction that even if he did do nothing wrong and he, you know, didn't get kicked off blip or anything like that, even if all these moments he he was fine, him being a toxic asshole would still have led him down this path. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So a good question. Uh, I think though. something uh, I haven't heard people talk about that much. Uh, after it came out, apparently the Lol Cow podcast has two recorded episodes, but Wings came on record to say that it, things are not looking very shiny behind the scenes, <laughs> and they're not apparently not getting along very well, and it's not working out. So it might be just dead in the water after these these two episodes. So, so man, that... <laughs> that's gonna be, uh, yeah, oh, he's so insufferable, isn't he? I know he will. He's gonna take such a W for this. Like, see, it can't work without me. Did they still get fifty k though, or not? Did they? I, oh yeah, I, that that was uh, the sign on bonus, apparently. But they still but, got that even without DSP joining. Okay, because that that seems kind of silly. Like, mm. if it's not, and it's not live either. What are you doing? Yeah, it has yeah, to be yeah. live. What? I, what I don't know work. about the fifty k though. Uh, if, yeah, if I have sure, to think yeah. about it. Maybe he, they got some money for sure, but fifty k, I don't believe. I would either. It's not. It's such a less hype show, and I'm it's not, not it's hype in the worst way. Not a good way, Phil. That doesn't mean I'm hype for you being there. It's hype because you would make a disaster. That's what I'm saying. The 50k yeah. you would have got is because you would have made it uh, the 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 disaster we all want. But go ahead, Sam. Yeah. If it's not live, it loses a huge percentage of its um, appeal for me. Yeah. Like you, I don't know. You can cut out anything when it's not live. So 
and make it's it really bad, and yeah. make it more like entertaining in some way like if you if you you know doing clever editing and stuff like that so yeah you you, you want to have that immediate um uh like access to them you know you want to be able to see it as it happens and mm. yeah but you I, want, and, when and they, yeah go ahead, go the, ahead. The, the trouble is that phil does kind of have a point not for the way he thinks but he he would make it 10 times more interesting for most people so, yeah absolutely because you just commandeer the conversation, try to say, oh, okay, well, you're wrong. But you need to have it live because you want to get the crazy, insane takes that they would want to mm-hmm. cut out. Like, I want to hear their thoughts on 9-11 because you know they say something fucking insane that they probably can't play if they have a chance to cut it out. You know you know what I mean, right? I'm not being, mm-hmm. trying to be disrespectful, yeah, yeah. but, you know, they say no, something yeah, fucking yeah. insane. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. like, <laughs> that's what you want to hear. But anyways, it's... it's For me, it's, it's like, you, you edited podcast is... is something completely different than like what we're doing you know it'd be like you know if me and sam had a series where we talked about red dwarf like yeah and, and we did the audio and sort of like mixed it properly oh and, and occasionally we'd have like a guest on to talk about it and we'd interview him and edited it that way and put it out on like spotify that's completely different from mm-hmm. what the lol cow podcast should have been which should have been more like this live Definitely. with a chat yeah video oh uh, francisco a good point they could if it's they have a deal the the they're Sponsorship deals might require them not to be live, but that's you. You got to get other sponsors then, I think. But and Keemstar knows that too. Keemstar's not nitty about that shit. You know, he knows how to make a popular show, and he thinks he's like he'd understand that. But <laughs> that being <I> right. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> like, we'll like we could kind of see in the beginning, he went into the whole lol cow thing with kind of a different perspective than everybody else, and he tried to do something that he wasn't completely versed in how it's gonna work. Yeah, and of course. The win for DSP is, I guess, that he is the biggest loser and the most unhinged out of all of them. So mm-hmm. without him, it kind of doesn't work, which yeah. I, I would say he's right about, because I would watch that for DSP's trying to pretend like he's a normal human type of situation. Exactly. Yeah. Bingo. That's what we all fucking want, but no, yeah. got to beg for $10 from a Chrono Trigger stream and cry during it because, hey, that gets the money, right? Uh, real quick, before we get to that Chrono Trigger crying yesterday, uh, Vike says, Derek's questions during 9-11 part were so cringe. Yeah, Derek was like, <gasps> just... <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Derek, Derek has oh, no fuck. fucking idea what's going on on the screen, just doing his Derek stuff. Oh, uh, Shout-outs to college boy Derek. Oh, Derek might uh, be doing the new tear maker list. Oh, brilliant. What? Derek, what? Back of... what's, the, what's the ice cream what? flavors? <laughs> no, it's horror movie stuff. And he kept like popping out like, hey, Phil, okay, I'm going now. Bye. And then um, coming back in. Hey, Phil, I found like two different versions of Halloween, one for the 80s version, one for the 90s version. Uh, is it Which one's okay? And then he'd come back in and go, hey, Phil, I found this film, but it's from before you were born. And I don't know if you'd have seen it. <laughs> it's like because somehow That's... that concept is beyond Derek. He's making and then he'd be like, the right, I'm going now. Bye. And he did that like for four or five times. We like I was on Aqua Teal's stream and just yeah. losing a shit. It's like wow. sorry, man, but this is pathetic. You've been doing this for fucking fifteen years and you've got some <laughs> random little well, you know. Guy. Fucking <laughs> hell. somebody asked him, Well, you know, are you and he's like, well, I don't know how to do it. They said like a horror tier list would be good and a horror movie tier list. And and he was like, Well, I don't know how to make it. And he I, I wouldn't know how to make it. And it's like, fucking Google it. It can't be that hard to do. <laughs> yeah, you get time not. for that? He has, to, he has to ignore his wife and do another stream on his off days. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he, d- he, did, uh, <laughs> he has also uh, talked about doing some more movie reviews, which I'm quite excited yeah, about, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. down for that. I want to yeah. do our series we should again. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, yeah, Halloween, because I haven't seen the three new Halloween films, so that would be a great excuse to get them watched. And uh, what was the other Review thing Alien, you talked, Phil. talked about? Review Alien. I want to oh, yeah, that'd be good. Great. I love Alien. That'd be so. I don't need to watch it again. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we know that we're good. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Imagine admitting you're dumber than Derek. That's what Derek... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. Derek has a better handle on technology than I do. <laughs> God, if someone could slip in something there. Get in Derek's ear, slip in something. Like, add Milfs in Miami. It's kind of a horror movie. Add it in there. There's some tense <laughs> moments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think You're he's not, not sure going to make happen. it? You, know? you don't think she might be able to fit those three people in, but she does. It's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> when they show the size of that dildo, I freaked out. I mean, that's scary. You don't think they're actually going to take Miami, but you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they do take Miami. It's a female. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Uh, no cuts on those tongues. Oh, God. <laughs> Oral sex scene, the blood that, going mate. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Demonetized now from Pajit. Thanks, Pajit. <laughs> No, we're always demonetized. Ira says, if he wanted to go all in on offense, offensive in poor taste, he should have stolen the Jintro entry with AI Phil talking about the fake 9-11 react. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> it's going to happen because there's so many fucking LARPers that have submissions. Is anyone going to submit any of that shit? He's not going to watch it, though, but it's it's uh, funny. Uh, Francisco says, yeah, we're going to talk about that. And the human centipede says, I'm awaiting the day he doesn't make sub goals for a whole month. What will happen first? Phil getting a real job or Phil going on food stamps? Well, he'll never... <sighs> He'll get a real job if he had to. I think he'd do a part time kind of thing because if you're asking realistically, parents. yeah, mm. parent live at parents' house, stream and like live off the little that it is because he has a long way to fall before he can't live, right? So mm. that's yeah. what I think. If you're asking seriously, which I'm not sure you are, but yeah, he would he would he would uh, go back to parents' house, sell the house, that would make him some money too. Yeah, elongate the time he has money, and there we go. Yeah, um, and I, I think that's kind of the unironically best choice for him is to move back with his parents because those people are getting old and they're going to need help. And yep. I know he's useless in pretty much everything, but at least he's better than like two senior citizens that are towards the end of their lifespan. And they're actually his parents, so he could actually do something useful for once and help out somebody who actually needs it. Yeah. And not okay. actually come across as like a cold, like human being that doesn't actually give a shit about people because most of us would understand, hey guys, I have to move back to Connecticut. My parents are dying and I need to take yep. care of them. Everybody would understand that. Yeah. But no, no, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but his parents were on their deathbed. They've been on their deathbed for eight years. Did you know that? Yeah. Eight so years. That's, that he's I think that's, can't go fishing anymore. Yeah. I think that's why I'm kind of slightly leaning towards team health because I, I, he, the guy's just so stubborn that he's just, uh, I can't see him giving up on his marriage or, you yeah, know, yeah. or giving up on streaming, you know, like, like I'm going to make this work, guys. I've been doing this for 15 years. This, you know, you guys love this, you know, while he's like completely broke. Like, I, I, can, I can't, I just can't see him. Hmm. You oh, know, selling the house in. is going to be like a, a last ditch final resort thing you know do you mind because like so much of his ego and his like sense of who he is is he's in that house it's 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 his house it's his adult house he's a job yep. he's got you know job and a wife and a family and all that stuff it's all in that house so you know and also we know that you're just waiting to get credit again before he can like remodel home equity loans yeah. yeah he's so, so hyped much equity for that. tied up in that house and he's just waiting <laughs> to be able to get it again and then he'll be fine he's treated but, like another bank account just locked right now i got another bank account it, but it's locked <laughs> given the state of it though he can't be getting much for it he won't be much. <laughs> uh let's get into it we have to talk about it so yes last night there was a chrono trigger stream chrono trigger mm -hmm. what a game uh phil one of phil's favorite games and we got to the ending, and uh, well, we heard some crying. Sam, anything yes, you want to set up for this? It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yes, yes, ALT, I up. do have I do yes. have something prepared for this. Um, Great. <laughs> we're not going to see it. We're just going to hear it. Unfortunately, yes, but, that's uh, fine. It's it's almost as good. Here we go. I've always felt farewell. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying because it's one of my favorite games and the music gets to me. I'm actually crying because it's the end of one of my favorite games. I'm a, I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm crying like a little baby. Like a little sissy. <clears throat> Weirdly, because I, I, I got that from Snort Hogan's clip and it, it yeah. as I was watching it, this, the, it was like, this video is, uh, is unavailable or something. Like As soon as okay. that, that ended, it was weird. So I don't know if, he's, if that video's gone or not. I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, I love the bit at the beginning of this, the way his his voice breaks when he's like, "I felt fit well." Like, play it again. Play it again. I've always felt fit well. I'm crying. Fit well. Fit well. It's like a great fuck. <laughs> yeah. <isn't> it? yeah. <laughs> But what people aren't actually seeing is the way he was like rocking back and forth like a little kid watching like Coco Melon before yeah. he actually started crying. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> it was like rocking to the side. It's like it all reminds me of somebody who's 
in like a retirement home and they're like 85 years old they can barely do anything they're watching like bingo on tv and they're reminiscing <laughs> about all their friends that passed away they got old and now they're gone and it's all over man and it's just like those kind that kind of segment that's what it reminded me i don't know if it in any way relates to dsp but that's what <laughs> kind of a the visual that it invoked in my mind I and here this is my not not a hot take at all, but and Lee, I saw your comment. It's kind of in line with my my thinking. I think this was sad. It was sad to see this because it wasn't a guy crying about his feelings at the time. It was crying about how did I get here? Kind of, you know, like back in the day, he had fun playing it. Yeah, I can really think that. Mm. But now he's back playing it with the audience and all the kind of rigmarole that comes along with that, begging the audience for money, complaining there's only $10 on the thing, all that shit. And it kind of like hit him like, fuck, man, I wish I could go back to those days, you know, when it wasn't about all this other nonsense and not the whole world hated me because of what his own actions, by the way. Uh, but, you know, I think really think it was it, it, it showed it felt like that to me, like it wasn't crying about the moment at that time. It was like. Back in the day, I had a chance, you know? <laughs> Back in the day, I, think, I could have been something, you know? But now think, I'm here. I think it's less about, like, the optimism of back in the day and just that back when he played it, he was, you know, a child and everything was great because he had no responsibilities and he had all the great games and he was quite spoiled. And, you know, yep. that's why his memories are good. Life was good when he was a kid, but life are good when you're a kid for most of us, you know? Because yep. you're not, like, you have no obligations. You get to play games, or you know? Things are good when you're a kid, and then you know they get a bit shit when you're an adult. But the the, the glaring contrast the glaring contrast for me is that he, there's that crying about you know when I was a kid and everything was good, and then you've got uh, an image of him watching 9/11. The, the the two towers, the, the twin towers are there, and they're both smoking, and there's the tip animation playing because he's currently <laughs> putting someone's name. Oh man, on the yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> And you can Perfect trust the timing. two, like where that one is like you missing your childhood and you the, the, the fact that you now have responsibilities and everything. And you don't like being an adult because your life is shit. And then you've got actual human emotion where people are actually dying, you know, and, and people are actually facing up to their deaths, their imminent deaths that they know. And, and that's the th sort of thing that puts you in other people's shoes it forces you to question what you would do in their situation and for him he's like let me just get your name up on the leaderboard <laughs> shout wow. out to fly eagles fly wow. yeah that that, <laughs> that thing now you just reminded me something that i got I, I guess i blocked out in my memory that video heavily featured the last words of people who actually died on the planes and in mm -hmm. the actual world trade center it's actually yeah. like super heavy to watch yeah I think that's basically the point of the video, isn't it? It's literally yeah, just yeah. The, the the last words yeah. of, of whatever it was. People on the planes, people in the buildings, and people mm -hmm. on the ground in the in the air traffic control and stuff like that. It's it's hard to listen to, man. And yeah, yeah, I fully agree with Steve, man. It's it's such a such a contrast. Mm. <clears throat> it's not something that you want to. I mean, if you see that in the list, you just you know just take it away from the list. It's not that fucking hard. You know, no, no one's gonna know what videos you cut out from the fucking list when you got fifty thousand. You know, I don't know how many people, fifty or sixty, <laughs> submitting videos. Mm. You know, you can easily just say, all right, that one's not gonna happen, so that's mm. gone. It's all RNG, guys. No one would know. That's one thing you can lie about that no one can check. Unlike all your other lies, where yeah. people can check. You know, like yeah. the Ju Justin Wong comment, like people mm. can check that. Uh, you know, it's so stupid um, it's like we, like it, fair <laughs> enough like if you don't uh curate that list um mm. but he does because we know yeah. we know he does you know he, he says it yeah. himself like he, yes, he, he goes through it and, and says no we're not watching more of this take that out blah 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 but he was like now nah, the 9 11 one let's september the 11th tomorrow I'll, I'll stick it in yeah that's fine it's just like that I was an know. ultra member all right ultra member but still yeah, just cut it was... short then but it's that so was actually to... the second video of the stream. So it was somebody who paid twenty dollars to send him this. So he kind of really put fun. in that position where you kind of have a choice to skip it, and that dude's gonna be salty, and he's gonna stop giving you twenty bucks, probably likely, or you can do what he actually did. And <laughs> you know, if it, so if the guy's an ultra member, then presumably he actually likes Phil enough to give him, you know, however much it is, twenty dollars. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you would think then that the guy would be more than happy with some sort of you know reasonable explanation you know sorry you know this is just slightly too heavy you know yeah, but just yeah. That, yeah 
That would feel human, right? If you say that, that was so mm -hmm. easy. Like yeah. you know, people would be like, "Yeah, I get it." You know, so that's nothing. No one can get pissed about that. You know, it's no. so easy. I I can't yeah. really watch this one, guys. It's kind of not really something I want to get into on stream. It's kind of emotional for a lot of people, and let's just go to something else. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Big ups to Blue, member Bob in the house. Thank you, Blue. You're a legend. Uh, real quick, let me read a few people. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Oh, I was just going to say, plus we got his experiences of 9-11, but, you know, we might go on for, that for a bit. So, you know, do that first. Get to, yeah, get yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Real quick, I'll go back to Steve here. So what, what are the chances we see a drunk playthrough like Fallout 3? <laughs> that's a good one. Fallout 3 is definitely mm -hmm. a drunk playthrough if you haven't seen it. Oh, He's been pretty classic. unhinged lately, team, divor team divorce, Danny DK. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, who knows how much he is drunk all the time? People say he's drunk all the time. Who knows? Uh, Matthew Fachin says, I personally feel that Phil is lying about how much money he actually has. I think he is actually rich, but has a gambling problem and loves when people donate to his streams. Like a high for him. Well, rich is a word, is, is one way to put it. When you spend all your money, though, you're not rich, right? Rich mm -hmm. is, what, how do you define yeah. rich, right? You think he's saving some under the table? Yeah. Rather yeah. than spending There's, a lot. I mean, a lot I, of I people. Guess... Go bankrupt thinking about like rich people who are into gambling i can only think of michael jordan and he has enough money to just gamble away without even being concerned mm -hmm. about it in the first place i don't yeah. think he dsp has any space to gamble without being concerned he just can't help it yep yep so that's British, not really British rich, example victoria corin mitchell who <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, but she but, yeah mil well. millionaires okay. go bankrupt, not because they're making money, but they're spending money. So, you know, his problem is the spending. Mm -hmm. uh, Vike says, no cry no crying. This is all the things Phil has not cried about. Mm -hmm. People making fun of his wife, uh, getting the cat goal met, parents dying soon, cat being abused by Subaru Man when you shared that information, getting swatted, back pain, neck pain. What does make him cry? Chrono Trigger ending. Yep, that is mm -hmm. correct. Uh, Alejandro says, team until death. New team coming out of the woodwork. Until death team. I like that. It's very metal. Uh, someone like Cat is happy playing video games and eating DoorDash every day. Too good to give up. Buy low. Mm. The downside is you actually have to put up with dark side fucking Phil 24 yes. <laughs> 7. Hence team divorce. Hence team divorce. Hence team divorce. But I would Go imagine ahead, a team until death is quite close to team health because you're saying it's the health problem and, you know, that's, that's what's going to kill him. So. <laughs> Quite close. <laughs> yeah. But go ahead, Steve. Before I go into the super chats, you were going yeah, to just, Yeah. Like um, did anybody see his experience of 9 11? Because I think, from what I've been told, it was basically um, we wanted to go somewhere, but we didn't because everywhere was closing. But we did manage to get dinner somewhere. <laughs> the <day>. Awesome. <laughs> very <laughs> relatable. <laughs> yeah. Just like, it's very meaningful. Like for Truly us, meaningful. I mean, like my. 9-11 over here, afternoon over here. So um, the, basically for me, like the entire afternoon stopped. It was like a national thing here as well. We were like, there were British people yeah, yeah. on those planes too. It became yeah. a national thing and we were all watching it that night and being like, oh shit, what does this mean for like international politics and things? And, yeah. you know, because of our special relationship with America and all that. And yeah, I can, like, I can... food. Exactly. Yeah. I can attest to it, like affecting us, you know, in terms of like the shops going dead, you know, like every, everything yeah, went quiet. Yeah. Cause I was, I was at my first job at the time and it was just like, just, it was like we were closed. It was bizarre, man. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. I remember um, I was, I had to go to work that day, but I was kind of like, I woke up late. <laughs> so I turned on TV and it was like all this wild shit. I was like, oh, wow, someone ran, ran the plane into the tower. I, that's when everyone thought it was an accident. Like the, yeah, there yeah. wasn't like that thought, you know, is it, it real or not? One, yeah. So I called my work and they said, and I was like, hey, I'm going to be late. They said, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was like, oh, sweet. I'm going to get there. No <laughs> problems. I didn't know idea what was going on, though, yet. <laughs> so yeah. I got there and then it, obviously I heard the truth and I was like, holy shit, this is serious. But yeah, I was kind of, I, uh, that <laughs> was an interesting phone call. It's like, why? No problems. I'm in the, I'm in the clear. But that was a long time ago. Uh, but anyway. And I was four years yeah. old. That's my yeah, whatever. Oh, God. I, we're the same age? Weird. I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Why did you have to work you? when you were four years old, though? Was, That's the like question. Back in those days. <laughs> American labor laws. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. A little different. Yeah, a little different. It was late for the mines that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coal mines. I had to put my, my light on and stuff. It was tough back in that, guys. You don't understand. Anyways, uh, let's get to the question of the day so we don't fucking forget it. So let's go to that. Mm. The biggest Max Off moment, please. And let's see. 
Sam, you're in charge of reading any 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 of the good ones. We can talk. Oh, about. I'm all. Oh, I'm yes, you there. always are. Producer. Oh, wow. you're a producer. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, wait a sec then. Got my chat popped out, so so let's. Uh... Oh, Snood has an interesting point. We probably should specify for ALT that we don't mean 911 BCE. Ah, yeah. right, 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 right. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Bear with me. <laughs> Just, uh, while I'm while I'm doing this, actually, have a listen to this. Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> Did we actually say? Oh, this is going. Yeah. It's still going? Yep. <clears throat> All right. Is that him scratching? <laughs> All right. That was scratching him, uh, his beard. That was Q&A? Could you not tell? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right, right. No I thought it was when in. he got up to put the thing out. <clears throat> no, that, that oh, was him we... sat there staring at his laptop. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think we got any good Grease comments, guys, by the way. I think Grease is dead. I think that bit is all dead. We didn't get uh, any good questions. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa you just oh, wait. Sam? Okay. Oh, oh. Sorry, excuse uh, me. Yeah, I was going to say, did we say our mask off moments? Oh, yeah, no, uh, let's do that first. Oh, okay, we have three things to do in the last 40 minutes. We have to say our mask off moments, go through the chat's mask off moments, and also hear the Grease that Sam apparently yeah. has ready for us. So, Sam, you're the... Program director, go ahead. You're in charge of that. Okay. Okay. Right. So you'd, you'd like me to read what they're saying? <laughs> well, yeah. You just do what you want to do. You could. You make okay. the schedule. You got to give the schedule a bit. <laughs> oh, exciting schedule. Love schedule. For the next it's ten minutes, thing. we're going to do this. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to do this. <laughs> right. Biggest mask off moment. So yes. here we have. A lot of fucking answers. There's some brilliant ones in here. Right. Every, okay. Super Vandal says, literally every time he, he yells, oh, yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. How much do you make? Yeah. That any any time he says, oh, at the start of something is usually a great, a great clip. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's what that mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All uh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, hang on. War Dog Leader says, uh, Crow Sus. Was a classic one. Bloody good one. Yeah. Classic. Bordock yes. leader was a good one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Not favorite, but I like the recent. Now I am going to increase the arbitrary member goal where he said it is arbitrary <laughs> out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that is a brilliant one. I love that. I love the fact that that just goes up as soon as he hits it. That's brilliant. That was 3-3. Hey, 3. 610. Right. Now 620. 620. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm contributing to a moving goal post. Okay, mm. cool. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, yeah, like about depression. We've got minus five stars whenever he says he's talking about depression. Nate Rivers, again, says war dog leader. Uh, yep. Bill Brasky says scorn. Um, uh, scorn is probably doing. one of the biggest. But I, here's also, my counterpoint. Go ahead, Mirka. Uh the, the 50 bit bitch moment from uh, Aaron. <laughs> Chad. You guys remember that one. Yeah, yeah 50 bit bitch. That's a classic. Yeah. 50 bit bitches. <laughs> Basic yeah. bills. Remember, he used to throw on that term, basic bills. Basic like bills. that is for my basic bills. Like my YouTube payments for my basic bills. What you guys give me is for my liquidity. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Uh, but, but real quick, what I was going to say is, before you know, a few years ago, many years ago now, the mask was never on, right, guys? It yeah. was there was no mask to take off. It was just like he's telling you how it's going all the time, right? People, you're not liking my summer of retro is not working. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. No one's watching it. No one's watching the videos. So if you guys could please watch those videos, uh, if you want to support my stuff, even though he's not begging for money, he's still begging for views. So he's always, you know, there just wasn't a mask before. Yeah. So we're really going off the last five years or so now when the yeah, mask would, is kind of back on. I would define a mask off moment as actions that he does that directly contradict words that he said. So if he's trying to say, oh, all you guys are welcome here and I have a great community atmosphere and then call somebody a 50-bit bitch or a fucking human turd or can lick shit out of his ass or yeah. something like that, that's a mask-off moment. Makes sense yeah, to definitely. me. A good one is um, when he was on Twitch playing PUBG. If you want to hear me talk about me, you go to YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Another classic. Mask-off one. <laughs> you go to YouTube. Uh, 
We've got uh, when Phil got backlash for cancelling Project Seven, he said he didn't break TOS because Patreon goals are nice things that might happen. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's, that's a good brilliant. one. That's a good one. Um, uh, thumbs down, motherfucker. The mask slip and catch and put back on moment though. <laughs> Uh, Francis uh, Francisco Ramos Mayer says when he gets mega tilted while playing SF6 and Axel, examples are him doing regard sounds, calling mm -hmm. chat mouth droolers. Thank you, yes. insulting his chatters for asking him asking for bubbles. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a, good a good one. one. Um, Oh, we've just got a random Ooh, question pittance here. Pittance tips. I don't want any pittance tips. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, That's yeah. good. oh, that rings a bell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a, just a random question here. Do you think Phil's English can be fixed by an English language graduate like me? I'll charge him $100 an hour. <laughs> I no. would love to see like you break down <laughs> Phil's syntax and sentence structure. So if you, oh, like, yes. you know, That'd be a fun video. Yeah. Things, I would yeah, there's a gap in the detractor I've got market. I've a few for examples that. for you to start with. Like <laughs> any... Sort of help. SSEs. Yeah. Where another Grand Or. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Another War Dog leader, another Scorn. Um, oh, the biggest mask off moment will happen when one or both of his parents passes and he uses it to beg. Yeah, that's oh, a big yeah. one to end on, I think. Yeah. From Jagass. So what was yours though, Meerkat? You you said you want to share yours. Go ahead. Uh I would say the the super meat boy depression thing. Because oh. I believe that was around the time when DSP was suffering from depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, a user named Super Mead Boy came to his chat saying that he was depressed and he was asking for advice, I, I guess. And then DSP stops all of this. He looks at chat and is like, okay, so there's Super Mead Boy here saying he's really depressed. So I derail my whole stream to give you attention. Okay, Super Mead Boy, you still depressed, huh? Are you still depressed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck oh god yeah oh fuck that's coming back i can't remember that yeah i got one too Jesus. uh i would say not the biggest but an interesting one is when he said uh guys you're not my friends remember when he said like his chat is not his friends you guys are not my friends <laughs> but we have a fun atmosphere or something like you're not my friends but we have an atmosphere here of talking back and forth, something like that. Didn't didn't he do that recently where he was like, um, I guess I always saw you guys. I think it might have been after Sir Moist when he was like, I guess I always saw you guys as friends and I saw, yep. you know, like, yep, yep. like, I don't need socialization. I've got chat. You are my socialization. I always saw yep. you as like friends. And, yep. you know, when, I was going to say so, recently yeah, yeah. that's changed somewhat for sure. I remember that mm. being like a big kind of retcon. So, yeah. <laughs> Community nights, except Jade. That's a mask off. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, a yes. real mask off moment there. <laughs> yes, I, I, generally Ricky did. He, Phil did say stalkers are the most loyal fans. That was <laughs> I did. I did a video. I think it was like my third or fourth video was was about that. Stalkers uh, are your biggest fans. Yeah. Hype, very yeah, hype. Yeah, that was very fun. nice. I do have the Super Meat Boy clip in, in its entirety, and it's not oh, nice. super long. If oh. we got some time to play it, because I don't think I represented it exactly how actually fucking toxic it was. Please do. Go ahead. Uh, I, I did send it in the in the chat room. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. It ready now. Uh, yeah. I'm just wondering if I've got another thing I can play while I'm getting this ready for you. Yeah, um, bring that up. Bring that up, Sam. Uh, <laughs> I haven't got anything. Sorry, no nothing as good as the the dead air. No more oh, oh, oh let's put go. dead air on. Let's put dead air. On. Yeah. <laughs> Dead air or this this other one? I'll play the other one first. Go on, go I, I forgot about this one. Have you been to a boat house? No. I've been on a boat that was a nice <laughs> boat, but it wasn't considered a boat house that you would live on. <laughs> God, these fucking questions. It's an important piece this of information. This is your audience, Phil. You have cultivated this. Did you <laughs> did you punch complain about the quality of the fucking questions. <laughs> Dude, and that's another thing. I, you know, I say it, Amber Lynn is like very much like DSP. Yeah, she yeah, loves she her is. Q and A too. She loves she her fucking Q and A. Every stream we get to Q and A because she thinks that people love those fucking Q and A. Like, no work involved. Let's do a Q and A. How many questions have we got left? That's when we start asking about: Have you ever punched a bee? What are we supposed to do? There's no other questions. <laughs> oh, punched a bee. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Right. I think I'm nearly there. Is it muted? I think. Oh, no, is it? I, I haven't started it yet. Sorry. All right. Okay. Um, Right, 
there we go. There it is. Oh, I don't need to play the video anyway. It's this stupid old pre-stream slideshow. Yeah. There we go. Right. Look at the great Here merch. it is. Boy is in the stream chat, whining and complaining, saying that I never talk to anyone unless they tip me or they send me money, which is completely false. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really <laughs> depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. Got to derail my whole stream and be negative in the stream chat because no one's paying you attention. So now I'm paying you attention, all right? So here we go. How you doing? What oh, cunt? Sorry. <laughs> now you're getting the attention you want. So let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Here we go. Super Meat Boy, here we go. What's up? What's going on? This man has had depression. Now he's not he talking. Knows how now he's he feels. Yeah. I give him his that. time to shine. He says everyone's ignoring him, and he wants attention. I'm giving him the attention he so craves, and now I hear nothing, no response. Where's the work? What do you want to talk about? What's going on? Crickets. Crickets. All right. So there you go. <laughs> Exactly. See, here's the difference, guys. I can tell the difference between someone who's being legit and someone who's literally just trying to derail the stream. And I mean, here we go. Crickets. Like, you can tell how you, you know, you can spot a, a sock account nowadays, apparently. It's the yeah, same yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, isn't yeah. yeah. By their writing, then. And now he says, I'm not even listening things. anymore. All right. Great. Well, now you can be timed out for derailing <laughs> the entire stream. You complain that you derailed the whole stream. So now we give you time to talk, give you your attention you so crave, and then you. Don't pay attention. Well, now you can sit outside the stream for 10 minutes. Good Lord. You know, sometimes you got to realize that streams aren't just about you. That means <laughs> you're trying to put out content. And other people watch. That's a fucking... That's a quality clip, that is. And it's not just about you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, like Defiant said, snore. Defiant snore. You can tell when someone's being, you know, serious and actually wants to talk about something important, and you can tell when someone's just being a jerk trying to get, you know, derail the chat or whatever, so... Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, I so bang. anyway, guys, again, tonight, if you cheer sober tip, I will give you a shout-out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Super Meat Boy came back into the chat just to prove that he was a troll all along, and it's now been permanently banned. Ba -ba 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 ba 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 Oh, look at that great question, by the way. That's he says, asking. if we question if we question if Wardog Leader's lost his brother is real or not, how do we know if Phil's depression is real? It's not. You see how Phil treats people that he, that said they have depression, right? Mm -hmm. What what is it? What is it? Crickets, crickets. Anyways, guys, if you want to tip, super chatting is down below. And we're trying <laughs> to get some goals today. You have to realize the stream's not about you. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, guys. Toxicity, <laughs> the snore, straight into the bag. It was like the, the quintessential <laughs> DSP. Quote, you know. <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah, there's about ten seconds left. What a dummy! <laughs> wow. <laughs> As if I didn't, couldn't tell from earlier. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> if you could tell earlier, why'd dumb. you stop the anyway, stream then? Smart guy. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why did you bring attention to him in the first place? Why don't you just get rid of him, like? So, you know. That's what he says. Like, oh yeah, I don't ever give these guys attention. Hang on. Okay, we got a question here from Randa P. Randa P here is asking about my, he's asking about my, my former girlfriend. Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, Re Panda, whatever the fuck your name is. I'm not talking about it anymore. Okay, I'm done with it. We're not talking about her anymore. Okay, but I see you asking about the pill. That was just that's all nuggets of truth. Okay, mm -hmm. nothing gets truth. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Okay, we're not here. I'm not talking about it anymore. All right, moving on. We have a question here. Have you ever punched a houseboat? Okay, no. I've never punched a houseboat. I have punched a normal boat once, but not a houseboat where people live. Okay? Now, if you don't know, some people live on boats. I, I'm not going to stop with that. I'm actually uh, fascinated he didn't face any kind of consequences for this, considering mm. it was on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Their philosophies might have changed somewhat in the last few years since that was... Because that was... When was that? That was... Uh, at least, okay. At least, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's a like a re-upload. Re so I don't know. But, yeah. yeah but, I don't know. Speaking of which, uh, LTG is now banned from Twitch, yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, the clip why he got banned is actually fucking fascinating. Is it? Uh, oh, did it? Did, bring it up. Bring it up. Play it. 
I'm, I'm looking for it now. I remember I uh, I retweeted it or something. Because, man, it was like, at, while this was the quintessential DSP clip and nothing happened, that was the quintessential LTG clip. Because oh, it's sick. really funny and like ultra mega toxic at the same time. <laughs> Bring that um, up. Phil's reaction to it as well. During Looking the for it, guys. The end news was great as well. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, here it is. Here this, it is. This isn't news and got up and the papers. <laughs> so funny. Hilarious. Well, here we go. <laughs> I'll just let's play this. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Read the laptop. Hang on a minute here. It is Get out. Face going like this. Right. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> I need you to follow my voice. Go into the bathroom. Open up the medicine cabinet. And I need you to just pop every pill with the prescription label on it. I need you to follow my voice. Wow. Isn't that old? I saw people saying that was an old clip. Oh, I don't know. I, th I thought that it? was it. No, I, I thought that was... I've seen people saying that's an old clip. Um, ah, right, okay. It could be. Yeah, I don't know. Don't do that, by the way. Oh, don't, no, 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 it's, it's old, Street it's old. Fighter 4 okay. Okay. that he's playing. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, yeah, people it. chat say it's old, too. Oh, but if well, you still never play heard Street it. Fighter 4, that could be... That could actually be current, then. If he still plays Street Fighter 4. Yeah, I thought he was banned for... saying he was asleep. Well, wasn't he banned for sleeping? Yeah, I remember that, too. That's what I... He got banned for sleeping. Is that yeah. against TOS now or something? Yeah, yeah, you so, yeah, well, yeah. it is. I mean, I, I guess. Don't, I, don't, I don't stream, but I'm guessing. Because, like, I think, was it Amaranth that did a stream where she was asleep for the whole thing? Oh, here we go. I got the clip. Uh, here you go, Sam. It's You got to show the video, though, kind of. But it's not uh, okay. funny. It's just him literally sleeping. Okay, bear with it's me. Funny edit, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> No, I have never eaten grease. No. <laughs> but I've eaten Greek food. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, hang on. You guys can't see this. A fucking hedgehog. A <laughs> 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 fucking Sonic. And I have. I saw my face. <laughs> Slow as possible. There we go. That's it. I think he just falls asleep here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. How are you gonna get banned for this? <laughs> That's very wholesome, He's actually. Still awake. Yeah, it's wholesome. He's getting comfortable, like. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm sure Coffee that this will get you banned. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, we... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Do you guys enough. remember when uh, when Chill Murray fell asleep and yeah. he fell asleep on the space bar? So it was just starting and playing the video on for like six hours. That was awesome. <laughs> and the video was like Chris Chan's scream or something. It was like, you gotta find that. I'm the best. <laughs> Anyways, real quick, we kind of glossed over, but real quick, just make sure we get it out there. Phil talking about the fucking Chrono Trigger and saying sissy is very mm -hmm. telling. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It yeah, is yeah. not sissy to have emotions, by the way. It's not no. sissy to cry about, you know, you know, something you love, you know. But he always goes to that sissy comment. He always does that. I'm a forty year old sissy, guys. Mm. I don't know if you knew that. Forty year old sissy. It speaks to <laughs> yeah. the, the the impression of like masculinity that he has. That he thinks it's you know crying at a, a, a sad moment you know at a time when you're supposed to be feeling sad and mm -hmm. you know feeling emotions is a bad thing for a man you know otherwise he wouldn't That's, say sissy would he yeah it's, it's just interesting the mindset mm -hmm. to have like, it's, it's a word that has historical context let's be honest it's, it's often a word that's associated with like making you know feminizing men and making them sort of like appear less masculine yeah and it's like it, why why is it why, why can't we cry at sad things? The sad things, you're supposed to cry at them. It's more worrying that you don't, to be honest. Yeah. 
<laughs> and yeah, in the sure. in the daily wrap that day, he said like, if you want to see all the emotional, <laughs> if you want to see the emotional recap, watch the video, guys. Very emotional. Oh, and that that was the cherry on the cake, wasn't it? He showed the fucking tissue on his daily wrap. That was oh, no! God. yeah, yeah, he did, he did the real tissue. No, <laughs> yeah, uh, that tissue's been through the block. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the same one picked up off the floor. <laughs> wipe off the crystals, wipe off the mushrooms, the, the cum the shrooms ants. growing there. <laughs> yeah, the ants. <laughs> Ant house on there. He showed the tissue. At yes, least we he didn't did get this. The... This was still one of my favorite moments of like awesome yeah. emotion from DSP. <laughs> but yeah, that's it it's yeah, it's sad that he still has that like impression of masculinity. It just shows how insecure he is. Like, can you really not cry at like a sad moment in something? Like, you know, and he managed a way to bitch about it because he didn't play Chrono Trigger before on stream with his summer of mm -hmm. retro that was total yeah, failure yeah. in terms of views. He's like, I just love what I can do this now. It's like, I don't have to worry about that. But he got ten dollars. So, like, how much was the crying from that? You never know. <laughs> but I'm sure he wasn't happy with how it went. And he kind of was saying this stuff like grandstanding of like, I can just do whatever I want and get support. Like, well, ten dollars for a stream is not really for, for a hobby. That's amazing, dude. Incredible. But if you're saying this is like, I could do whatever I want. And everyone supports me. I have a great living. All right. Well, all right. Here it comes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm really sorry, you guys. <laughs> Find uh, this emotional moment really emotional. <laughs> all right, Sam. You're the program director. How are we doing on time scheduling? You tell us. What's our next bit here? Well, I think we should. I think it's time to move on to uh, the topic of of Greece. Yes, um, yes, yes. We love it. Waiting which for ad this. admittedly, there wasn't as much that I noticed. Anyway, I tried every little you know permutation that was of you know that was, that was I could think of on Pig Pig Go, including like you know Grecian. I thought might have slipped in there or something, or you know, <laughs> but you know we've got Greece and we've got Greece. You know, yeah, two yeah. different spellings. I tried them both um and this is all i could come up with and i did listen to while it was happening last night the the q a session from start to finish and i couldn't see any um but yeah so here's what i found yes okay. i've seen the movie grease oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice the classic so that's grease and this is grease yeah. too i told you in uh, in high school uh one of the musicals they performed was grease and i was one yes of the, uh, <laughs> well i was one of the stage hands and also, I had a very minor role at the beginning of the... Or was it Guys and Dolls that I was at the beginning of? Guys and Actually, it was Guys and Dolls I was at the beginning of. Never mind. <laughs> I was so that's stage confirmed. for Greece. I had a minor role in Guys and Dolls. Not even good enough to be on stage. Has to be a stagehand. That's in high school. If you're a stagehand, it means you probably can't. You know, yeah, you'll be a stagehand. They're very important. Right. He really has to think as well when he's answering that question. Like he really like looks off into the distance, thinking about it whether he was whether it was guys and dolls or Greece. <laughs> he was a minor part. Like he like held the curtain, moved the curtain to the side. I had a very minor yeah. part. Uh, in that one. Was it that it? We got two, in the two mentions. <laughs> Yeah, and then the, the, the little known Grease 3 as well here. Yeah. Do I like Ooh. greasy French fries? Not particularly. Ooh. <laughs> the, only, the only French fries that I think taste a little bit good are greasy are the ones from Five Guys because they use peanut oil. So those fries taste really, really good because of the special oil they use to fry them. Outside of that, I prefer a crispy French fry because greasy French fries end up being more soggy and yucky. I don't like that. I like a more crispy French fry. <clears throat> yucky. <clears throat> And Kat agrees favorite. with me. She this loves Five favorite. Guys. She loves <laughs> peanut oil. And she loves nut sauce. Especially loves, nut sauce. And she loves crispy. I'll tell you, she loves crispy complexions, too. I'll tell you that right now. She peanut loves butter complexion. She loves yeah. Chris A. She loves Christopher G. Oh! She loves them all. <laughs> all the Chris's. All right, what's our word this week, though? Because I, I I love this bit too much. So yeah, what's our yeah. word for this week? We're going to keep it going. Because today is a the bit internet. too specific. Space. Well, I, let us be like, quiet. Yeah, space was way bigger. So what's a good uh, yeah. option, chat? Let us know. Unless you I have one in mind, Meerkat. I did see a word that someone said randomly in chat earlier that had like a double usage, which was cologne. Okay. You know, as in the, you know, it's a place and it's a thing, but um, you can probably come up with something better. I don't know. I just saw that as an as an idea. Fish. While you're having to think, this is the grease mega mix, by the way. Oh, please, grease, please. grease, grease, greasy, greasy, greasy French fries end up being more soggy and yucky. I don't like that. Get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so here are our options. Uh, Chad, I'm reading through. I'm seeing the droves in chat. I'm going to give you some options here. Uh, fish, decade, because he does say decade a lot. Someone pointed that out, and that yes, is true. Yes, that got up on Twitter, didn't it? So but how do you ask question about decade, guys? It's kind of a tough question. Thinking games, sorry. Maybe mm. maybe 80s is going to be good. Everything about the 80s. So they can 80s. get him reminiscing and he can uh, share some details about his childhood. You guys love those. Everybody yeah, so loves childhood in, shit. In, yeah, your question, you, you, in your question, though, say 80s, though, because then we can search for the question easier because he always reads it back. Like, okay, we got read, the Third yeah. Eye of the Third is saying, what's your favorite 80s band? Like, make sure you say 80s in your question, guys. Yeah, so with Halloween coming up, you've you've got like him reminiscing about Halloween films. Although he did just do that with like Gremlins and stuff like that. So yeah, but, you know, classic eighties horror films. Phil, one yeah. of my favorites. You know, yeah, eighties. Yeah, your your grandpa. Like, what was it like growing up in the eighties <laughs> compared to the nineties? I guess you know. Are your grandparents in their 80s? There we go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Has the temperature reached the 80s? Yes, yes. <laughs> now we're thinking. Now we're thinking. That's what we're here for. All right, but that'll do it for this show. Unless I miss anything, Sam. We got through How the whole... How many T's did you know? Yep. Was there just the one? Or did you know eight T's? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's niche. <laughs> did you know one T or eight T's? <laughs> <laughs> that's the best <laughs> that's the winner right there I'm good so luck top of that. <laughs> good luck top of that right there god <laughs> steve's dad and that was not watching our show ever again all uh, right anyways anyways let's get finished the show meerkat business announcements i know you got a lot of business announcements to go for the end of the show please go where we what's happening the rest of the day come on let us know uh yeah, I'm going to do the pre-stream on my channel, and then uh, me, the Decepticon, and Tractor Goose are actually going to be doing the React today. going to be oh, very cool. fun, I promise. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, envy you. <laughs> take notes. <laughs> yeah, take notes, man. Take notes, oh, yes. We need to take notes, not shots. That's something we could talk about quickly, is uh, yes. that question we had on Twitter, um, about, or X. Should we call it X? No, um, Twitter, no, fuck yeah. X, fuck X. Yeah. Um, was, what do you guys think about uh, changing the way we do things, like reversing the shows, basically? So, yeah. you know, we do the, the group think on a Sunday and uh, this show on a whatever day. Yeah, when Phil's day off is because then it feels like we're recapping the week of film rather than doing yeah. it on a sunday and then oh phil's also got stuff coming yeah up. all right so he, let's, let's go yeah. around the table real quick one minute thoughts here or less what do you think about that meerkat uh that's fine with me both ways it works okay steve of the dead yeah i'm cool with it it's all, it makes logical sense so yeah samuel the dentist Thanks. It does. It does make sense. Also, the uh, the React stream will be fresher in our minds because we yeah. always have to kind of wait a week, which is why we spoke about you know nine eleven and stuff today. Um, but like I said on Twitter, the only the only downside is that I have to be kind of a bit more switched on on the the late. You know, it's quite late for me. I'm you know I've got a little kid. You know I'm, I'm tired working man. And yeah, uh, yeah so <laughs> just I, I, I appreciate man. being <laughs> I appreciate being able to sit back and. Man. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's what I am. All right, anyways, I think it's a good idea, too. I think that's it sounds dumb. good. It just sounds good. I don't know yeah. if it feels good, but we should let, I mean, the, the chat we'll should be it. the one that judges, right? Should we do a poll, a members yeah. poll, and whatever they say goes? Yeah, that's a good idea. Or is it, it should be in our hands? Should we I think not we should do a public poll and consider it because, okay. you know, we've, we also got other stuff to do. Like Sam said, he's working. He might feel tired someday. So it, we, we got to compromise. We got to discuss. But we also want to hear what people want to say and uh, what they yeah. think. Okay. And also, we can always just remove troll votes and detract to vote. Exactly. If, yeah. Okay. Sure. So I'll do happens. community post today at some point, and then we'll get your feedback, get all your and understand. Uh, you know, get all the numbers, and then we'll decide. If it's like it's overwhelming, then it sounds like probably we'll do it. Mm. If it's close, so we'll we'll talk about it. But yeah. And if our numbers but, go down, we'll just say you guys asked for this. Yeah, yeah, it's foolproof. <laughs> Where, people wanted us to switch for years. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> In the end, the final say goes to us, but we want to hear the, the pros yeah. and cons from the people that actually watch those so we yes. can take them into consideration in our discussion about the final decision, you know? Yes. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. We do actually care about what you think, unlike Phil. We will actually take <laughs> your opinions into consideration. Yes. So, yes. We've changed multiple things because of 
what you guys have said for the, all for the better. I like the intro, say. we don't do yeah. the, like long intro anymore, do we? I used to yeah. get a word from everybody. What a nightmare yeah. that was. Anyways, yeah. let's get and to it. In return, all we ask from you guys is to send us uh, good <laughs> entries for the competition so we can enjoy them as you've been doing so far. So I guess everything is working if you think about it. Yep, oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. Working out great. And our next competition is locked in already. Not scheduled, of course, but that fan fiction Fantastic competition yeah. is going to be so hype whenever we get that rolling because it's such a good idea. People are already getting fired up, writing their ideas, outlines coming out. It's going to be hype. But yeah, we'll get to know on that. Anyways, Meerkat's got, told his business announcement. Steve, what we got? Anything you want to share with us now? Uh, I'm working on my next video. It's going to be like a follow-up to the Jasper one because that came up and I'm slowly trying to edit it. hopefully get it out in time before I go to the hospital. So, yeah, it, it's going to be long, that. though. So, All right. That's what we want. That's yeah. what the fans thought. They desire it. If you, Steve drops a video less than four hours now, people get pissed. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, what, yeah. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, Steve? So, <laughs> so, so me, he's like, have you ever thought about delivering your points in a concise manner? I'm like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got a lot to say here. So, so big up from the WPIG side of things, we'll do a stream middle of the week, mm -hmm. something. Uh, but last night we did the Jaha interview. Very yeah. hype. You haven't oh, seen it. So he good. dropped some a lot of good stuff from Jaha coming in hype. And uh, we've played for things he forgot he said was pretty hype to see his reaction to that mm -hmm. stuff. And Jaha's a legend, obviously. So it was yeah. a lot of fun. Plus, he was good. He filled in a lot of the gaps and a lot of the stuff. It was great to just have Phil go, well, here's how things happened. And then Jaha go, that's not how it happened. Today. Yeah. <laughs> like just laughing at what Phil was saying. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was Phil's like, fun. they led me into a trap. And Jaha's like, we just went to the car park. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the trap was following you outside after warning you that we would follow you outside. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not much of a trap. And yeah, the hands behind the backstory, Jaha said like, yeah, yeah. no, that didn't happen. <laughs> there was no hands behind the back moment, like Phil said. There was no like, uh, uh, I will not punch you, sir. I will not take violence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was also uh, somebody in chat pointing out that we made fun of him for crying when he was confronted with Jaha, but now we said that there's nothing wrong with crying. And man, the context behind him crying to Jaha is completely <laughs> different. Yeah. He was talking all that shit, and then it came to, to cash that check on his ass, and he couldn't, so he started crying. That's, that's very funny. He fucked around, he, he... and then he found out. He smartly yeah. figured out that the only way he was not going to get his ass beat was to cry. And that's yeah, why he cried. Pathetic. That's the only yeah. reason he fucking cried. Let's not get it twisted here. You know? I'm, I'm an alcoholic and my life's just turned to shit and I just really can't handle it anymore. Like, oh, it was also that. extremely funny. Last night he said, uh, I haven't even told my parents I was an alcoholic yet. While yeah. we played on stream from 2007 on Alphys and Radio, he says, guys, I'm an alcoholic. Multiple on, times. On, yeah. the, on the internet, he said, I never told anyone. Not even my parents knew about that. On Alphys and Radio, brother, he said it to the world that I'm an alcoholic. Already saying that he's an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. So, get fucked, man. Don't try yeah. to retcon shit, man. <laughs> also, you're not an alcoholic. You abused alcohol. There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, and you still do. All right, yeah. Sam. Get us out of here. You're a legend. Everyone's a legend here. Thanks so much for all the contributions. You guys are full fucking legends. We'll see you on the next one. Sam sent us okay. home. Okay. Right. I've just, I've just got one more clip uh, that Ooh, I didn't yes. play um, that I thought was mildly amusing. Uh, here it is. All you can taste is salt. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as it's not got the same impact as the classic one. You've you got, you got to put your chest into it a bit more, Phil. But you know. remember, 80s anyway. guys, 80s, oh. 80s, 80s. 80s yeah. is the word. The word. Not Greece. 80s. Not Greece. Right. 80s. Bye, everyone. Burger King. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. Lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here. 
Wipe away your tears, got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear, there's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon. Take your power walking on the beach Feasting on some sushi like you were the queen Let me run some errands while you sleep I can watch you play Skyrim all day this week Have no fear, there's no troll here Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes raccoon eyes raccoon eyes Kevin made you cry with those raccoon In reality, like I tell you guys, every day when I wake up, that's the best day of my life. I feel like this next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, and Jasper, and, and you know, the things we get to do together. Even though I definitely want more time with them and more family time, but I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me, and by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that, you know? It was, oh, I hate my life, I hate, I hate who I am, so let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore, you know? Like, I'm happy with who I am. I don't know if I want taco sauce on my burger.